Also recently done some stuff on the paleo. You think you think coconut water is hip at the moment, Joe? The paleo diet is big, isn't it? The idea behind the paleo diet, we got to, you know, we're just we're poisoning ourselves with modern food. Mm-hmm. Let's get back to the way our cavemen and cave women ancestors ate. Just eat lots of meat and <laughs> fresh vegetables and a, a bit of dinosaur. Yeah, and we'll should point out we didn't live at the same time as the dinosaurs. dinosaurs. I know that. Yeah. Don't write to me about that, Angelina Jolly. And we'll instantly turn from a pot-bellied, balding person hunched in front of a computer monitor into somebody were walking around with clutching a spear with a trim gut and wearing a cute fur bikini. Mm, very big at the moment, the paleo diet. What are your thoughts? Start off by a guy back in the 1970s who said that we were basically carnivores. Wrong. And that our paleolithic ancestors ate carnivore food only. Wrong. And then reinvented in the 85s. And then well, it does have good stuff. Like it says, have grass fed, pasteurized, oh, sorry, pasteurized meat and poultry. Nothing wrong with that. Seafood, nothing wrong with that. Um, fruit, green veggies, eggs, nuts, roots, and fungi. Love that. They're, they're all part of a healthy diet. Yeah, yeah. And then excludes dairy. Look, I love a bit of butter every now and then, a bit of yogurt. Grains, legumes, potatoes, and processed oil. Now, come on, I love olive oil. Okay, four things wrong with the so, paleo diet. So, what, right? what it's doing with that last bit is ruling yeah. out a lot of your carbohydrate, which is one standard way in a sort of crash diet of losing a bit of weight, yeah? Yeah, which is sort of crazy. Oh, by the way, what works really well is losing about half a kilo where you can do that long term. Mm-hmm. Okay, so problem number one, there wasn't just one paleo diet because there were so many different people around the world, some living in the tropics, some living in the Arctic areas. They all ate different foods. De- 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 determined by what they had immediate access to given their climate, geography, etc. Yeah, right. And so even today, the people in the Arctic get 99% of their calories from meat while the... <coughs> I'm going to do the... Kung, that's for exclamation mark, Kung people of Africa, they get 12%. They're both on the paleo diet, but one's 99%, one's 12%. Oh, okay. So the suggestion that all cave men, and I use that in the gender inclusive sense, all cave men ate overwhelmingly meat yeah. with just a tiny bit of grass to wash it down, that, that's false. That, that is in false. Um, and, and in fact, we have found out by looking at the teeth of people 30,000 years ago that some of them did eat the grains and the legumes, so much so that there were very typical wear marks. Number two problem is they say, well, the trouble with us humans is that we couldn't possibly have evolved fast enough in the last 10,000 years that we've had agriculture wrong again. In the last 1,000 years, about one third of us have evolved to be able to drink milk as adults, whereas two-thirds are still lactose intolerant, as you call it. Mm -hmm. And we've had other evolutions in in the colour of hair and with people living at high altitudes. We've got three separate separate evolutionary changes that have happened in the last 3,000 years for people to be able to live at high altitudes. So we can evolve fast enough. They're wrong on that. Mm -hmm. Third thing they're wrong on is eat what our ancestors ate. Damn hard. It just ain't around no more. Closest you can get in terms of meat is kangaroo, and that's about it. Um, like, you think about corn. Like, you know, corn is a big thing, like about the size of your you know, yeah. diamond of your wrist. Corn hasn't changed, has it? 2,000 years ago, 1,000 years ago, corn was something the diameter of a cigarette. Oh, really? And we've evolved it that quickly. Hasn't corn been working yeah. out? And fourth, the nutrition. Hey, you just on, just on, yeah. on that third point, so you're saying the meat we eat. So if I eat a lot of cow, I'm vegetarian, I wouldn't, mm. but if I had lots of cow today, mm. I'm not following the paleo principle of eating meat like my 20,000-year-ago ancestor did. Because it has what the Americans love to call the marbled fat. It's just a very different animal. What you'd have to do would be to get a cow, let it run loose for a couple of generations, and then, wearing your fur bikini and, and carrying a spear, run out, chase it, kill it, <laughs> and then eat it. That would be the sort of meat that was around a couple of thousand years sure. ago. Or a kangaroo. Or if I went to go hunting th- small corn like that, I'd have to put my fur bikini on <laughs> and go and pick some small corn. Yeah, and then finally the nutritional value. Um, the, by the way, the word dietitian is protected. You need to do a four-year university mm-hmm. course as opposed to nutritionist. Anybody can call themselves that. So the dietitians around the world have a competition, and they've had this for the last five years. And out of the 30 or so diets that come and go, the paleo diet is either bottom or second bottom for the last 
five years. Wow, it's really? Ba- it is as bad as you can get. Um, it, it just has the wrong mix of foods. And so it's a crazy thing that works for a little while. And why does it work? Because in your gut, you've got bacteria, and the bacteria are eating, used to eating something. And if you give them something different, they'll go, hello, hello, can't get all the nutritional value out of this that I normally can. And then they switch over, and after a couple of weeks they have, and in that time you've lost a few kilos, and you think, wow, this paleo diet's really good. Mm. They lied to you. Although some of it is good. You know, there's nothing wrong with fruit and veggies. Great Twitter question here from Richard Dawkins. Wow. You know Richard Mr. Dawkins? The evolution. Yeah. Um, DNA. What was his very... Coined the phrase, the selfish gene. That's one, yeah.